cheesy start. I used to watch you in Dream Team as a football fan. Dream Team, greatest show on earth. It was, was apart it? from American Gods. <laughs> 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 to go from that and all these years later going to this, I mean, this must be just a dream. I can imagine going. Yeah, it, it's a dream come true. When, when I think I've got Ian McShane to my left right now, um, this is love joy. And it, it, it you know, and, and the first time we met, we sat there talking about Man United, and we're huge fans of Man United. We were talking about transfers, and I'm like, really? Am I am I sat in a trailer with Ian McShane talking Man United? I mean. <laughs> It's 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 a pinch yourself moment, and and here we are on, on the on the big day, the premiere of, of a show that, you know, I played a protagonist, and um, it's all you can ever ask for, you know, to work with incredible people such as uh, Ian McShane, Emily Browning, Yatide, uh Badaki, Bruce Langley, and then to be led by incredible, inspirational, creative, visual geniuses in in Michael Green, Brian Fuller, and then, you know, the the, the rock star that is Neil Gaiman. We spoke to Neil Gaiman recently, and he said he was he was thrilled when you were when you were cast. I mean, straight away you must have felt so relaxed and so excited that he'd given you a seal of approval. Um, for me, it was just a relief. Um, the, the audition process was was, was five months long, uh, and was incredibly grueling and taxing. So, to finally kind of get over the finish line was was incredible. And then for for Brian, Michael, and and Neil himself to to say such beautiful words, I it was it, I felt very honoured, and you know I, I wanted to really do it justice and. Uh, if not for just myself, but for them too, as well as the fans. Visually, it looks spectacular. I mean, I've seen the opening credits as well, and they're just yeah. incredible. I've watched the opening credits like eight, nine times already, good, and I'm they? still Fantastic. seeing stuff. It's incredible. What was it like being involved in that? Because it, it feels like, you know, as a TV show, TV has expanded so much, and it's like you're making eight mini movies. Yeah, we, and we shot it like a movie. You know, we were doing one, two scenes a, a day. Um, when I talked to the post team who were mixing it, it takes a normal TV show two to four days to mix, and they were, they were mixing ours in 12 days, you know which is what they do for feature films. This really is an incredible epic project and you're going to get that feel when you watch this show. Um, there's nothing like it on TV. It's, it's very unique in its look, its style, its tone, the music. Um, and I'm very excited to kind of pass this on to the audience. I would say this, this takes place in the first third of the book, so you've got so much scope left to go. Have they spoke about going back and it's Not excited. even the first, about one fifth. <laughs> one fifth, it's the first hundred pages, you know, and, and that's, in, that's an incredible, thing to, to kind of have in our back pocket is you know, Neil Gaiman's writing a sequel to American Gods as we speak he wrote spin-offs in the Nancy Boys Monica the Glen so this show's got a lot of legs to kind of go for, for numerous years um, we've also been able to flesh out lots of characters so even hardcore Neil Gaiman fans American Gods fans will still have fresh material to look upon because where characters are kind of sporadic in the book we investigate where they go when they're not being seen you know such as uh, Matt Sweeney he only appears twice but here we have the incredible Pablo Schreiber um, why not use him and we do same with uh, you know Orlando Jones and, and and all the other characters that we have Gillian Anderson I mean how do you not mention that incredible lady um, she does quite a performance uh, in, in throughout this season ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.